Again, good morning everyone. I am Dr. Arun, your biology teacher. And today we are going to see the second practical. Our first practical was pollen germination through a slide that we have to prepare the nutrient media and we have to see whether the pollen tube is formed or pollen is germinating. And this practical is respect to your ecology. So what actually we are going to do in this chapter means or in this practical, we are going to do some important practical that is we have about four sets of experiment in it about water profiling test where we have soil texture, we have soil water holding capacity, soil moisture and soil pH. Four different practicals are there. Among them, this is one of the first practical which I am going to handle for you all in water profiling test. Okay, what is this test based upon? Okay, in this, we are going to see the soil texture. I will run with the experiment what we have to do. All we require is, we require a weighing balance, we require a measuring cylinder for one uh, soil sample and we require a beaker, we require a spatula, we require wash bottle and a, a scale. Okay. First what we have to do is we have to weigh 50 gram of soil and we have to take 50 ml of water. Don't take it from straight away from the beaker. You take the measuring cylinder where we are going to do our experiment. In that, since it is a colorless solution, you have to take about the lower meniscus. So what we have to do is, we have to take 50 ml of water. And always we have to see only the lower meniscus. Okay. I am adding water until I get a 50 ml. I have taken 50 ml of water. In the readings you can see we have 50 ml of water. And what I am going to do is I am going to pour in the beaker. Now what we have to do is I have taken 50 gram of soil. Right. I have weighed and taken 50 gram of soil. This 50 gram of soil I have to add in the measuring cylinder. Okay. I have taken 50 gram of soil in the measuring cylinder. In this what we have to do is we have to add 50 ml of water. Now I have added 50 ml of the given water. Now keep your hands above and keep your another hand below and mix it properly. You have to mix it properly and leave it as such. How many uh, time means how, how many minutes mean keep it for half an hour. So we will wait for half an hour and before that what we can do is we will do some uh, uh, theory or theoretic, theoretical uh, thing we can see now. Well children this is what you have to write in your uh, record notebook. So there is the first experiment in the soil texture. Aim you have to write. Requirements you have to write. There is something called theory that also you can write children. After that it is actually respect to the physical character of uh, soil we are going to see. So we look about the soil texture. We have an important triangle called uh, soil texture triangle. This is very important. So this soil texture triangle is nothing but it is a triangle by which we can identify the texture of the soil. So we have three different things we are going to take here. Percentage clay, percentage silt and percentage sand. For example, if the percentage of sand if you are able to get is 30 percentage means. So the sand will run parallel to the silt. So you have to draw a line like this. If it is for the sand. Next, if you take a clay, clay will run parallel to sand. Say we are getting clay about uh, 60. So, you have to draw a line like this. And the percent of, percentage of silt runs parallel. When you look about the parallel line, it runs to the clay. So, if we imagine we are getting about 20 percentage, we have to draw like this. So, where we call the triangle, the merging part of a triangle is seen in the clay region. Therefore, the soil texture is 
clayey soil. This is the importance of texture triangle. So I tell you once again what we have to do in the texture triangle. The texture triangle we can identify the texture of the soil where uh, if we are getting a relative percentage of 30 percentage you have to draw a line the sand will run parallel to the uh, excuse me the sand will run parallel to the silt if you have clay the clay will run a line parallel to the sand and the silt will run parallel to the clay so you will get a triangle so where it fuses we can have a line over here and where the triangle you are getting more number of area covered that will be a respective triangle how to find out so you'll be getting a, a, like this a various fraction after half an hour you'll be getting cores and fine sand together taken as one ratio then you will be getting something called silt then you get something called clay and water and humus so what you can do is we can cancel off all these layers do you put water and humus by taking the percentage of sand silt and clay that we have to measure using a scale and after this what we have to do is we have to see the thickness of sand layer so the thickness of sand layer say you are getting about uh, 1 cm for example I am saying here we getting thickness of sand is 1 cm next we can go for thickness of silt uh, thickness of silt maybe uh, roughly we can keep it as 2.5 cm so thickness of silt we are able to get is 2.5 cm and the thickness of uh, clay so it will vary from one to another so I am keeping it here the thickness of silt layer is 2.5 cm and the thickness of clay we can keep as 1.7 cm so these are the various fractions we have got for example we are taking here so the, what is the thickness of all the three layer constituter it is nothing but 1 cm plus 2.5 cm plus uh, 1.7 cm so what is the total we accounts to the total <coughs> will account to 1 plus 2.5 plus 1.7 accounts to 5.2 centimeter so thickness of all layer is 5.2 centimeter how to do the calculation thickness of sand layer how to calculate sir it may be a question thickness of sand layer what is the thickness of sand layer 1 divided by total thickness how much uh, total thickness is 5.2 so 1 divided by 5.2 5.2 into 100 so what is the percentage we get is we get a percentage called as 19.2 percentage so we are getting 19.2 percentage similarly we and we check the relative percentage of silt ok it is only about sand children sand is 1 centimeter silt is 2.5 divided by uh, 5.2 into 100 that is 48 percentage ok so what about uh, this layer uh, uh, clay so clay is about uh, 1.7 divided by 5.2 into 100 it accounts to 32.6 32.6 percentage or we have got the value so we can check with that so thickness of sand sand we are able to get is 19.2 and thickness of uh, silt is 48.2 percentage thickness of clay is 32.6 I'll make it as 37 percentage which is nothing but the clay now we'll jump into texture triangle and we can just mark how to go ahead with that okay now we can go with texture triangle okay I'll remove all these lines I'll take a big eraser I'll erase it okay so what is the thickness of sand sand was 19.2 so sand so sand will run parallel when we'll look about sun sand will run parallel to silt line so sand is 19.2 coming over here so I'm drawing a line here for sand next is silt is 48 percentage so where is silt? Silt will run parallel to clay. So it is 48 coming around here. I am drawing a line here. Okay. So what is the thickness of clay? Clay will run parallel to the sand. So it is coming over 37 percentage coming over here. 
So at last, children, we are able to identify that. What is the percentage? Means what is the texture of the soil? It is silt lay clove because the triangle have completely fused. In which area? In this area where we have silt lay clove. Okay, children. So I have uh, left it undisturbed for 20 minutes instead of 30 minutes. And with the help of scale, we have to measure. So when you look about in scale, first is I'm going to take. Uh, I think it is visible for you. Not sure. Okay. The it is uh, sand is coming about one not 0.5 to 0.6. It is 0.6 centimeter is the sand. Then silt is just 0.3. And clay is coming around, uh, clay is very thin, clay is coming around 0.2 centimeter. So, applying the formula, you will get the values. So, this is a very important experiment that you have to do it in the lab, children, when the school gets reopened. Okay. So, this is actually I have created through uh, from our lab, and same thing will be done through the whole lab also. Thank you very much, children.